Today we're talking about the KC-135 Strato Tanker. Mostly because it was in the news all last week due to the nature of its recent... Mission? Airy? We'll get to that. But first, what is a KC-135? It is one of the few planes Uncle Sam uses for aerial refueling missions. You know, the whole airplane mating ritual thing. And then nine months later, an XF-85 Goblin is born. Anyways, this aircraft is quite literally a flying gas station. And that's not me exaggerating. Your average gas station can hold 30 to 40,000 gallons of fuel at it. The KC-135 can carry 33,000 gallons of fuel, or 200,000 pounds worth, all while traveling at a max speed of 580 miles an hour, which is awfully fast for a plane referred to as the Tanker Toad. But that nickname actually has nothing to do with its speed. You see, back during the Cold War, there was a mission known as Operation Chrome Dome. Basically, B-52 bombers would be doing hot laps around Alaska and Canada 24-7 all day, every day for years. This was a precautionary measure in case there was a nuclear attack from the Soviet Union. In the unfortunate event that did happen, the B-52s would then take off directly towards the Soviet Union to return the favor. This is known as mutually assured destruction. Thankfully, it never happened. However, it was a KC-135's job to meet up with the B-52s on the way there and refuel them, giving them enough fuel for their one-way mission. And the KC-135 was expected to give all 200,000 pounds of fuel to the B-52s, leaving none for itself. The crew was then expected to crash land the plane in the ocean or in Siberia, giving the crew virtually no chance of survival, thus the nickname Toad. Take off and die. You gotta love that dark veteran humor. Luckily that never actually had to happen and now we just get to watch aerial refueling videos. Which I'm gonna be honest, they give me goosebumps every time. I mean, here's a video of the sexiest aircraft of all time, the F-22, pulling up and saying give me 30 grand on pump one. Contact, boom, better phone. Boom. You guys make any uh, good food? Whipped up a few pizzas. Pretty much guaranteed we're gonna make some cookies when we're on our way home. Nice. I can't even begin to imagine the amount of skill that takes. Buh! It's actually not that big of a deal. All you have to do is set cruise control and link them together. Buh! Yeah, before you go saying that looks like it's easy, go ahead and walk into a public restroom and realize that half the people on this planet apparently can't even hit the toilet with their own dick while they're standing still. These two pilots just got two aircrafts that weigh tens if not hundreds of thousands of pounds to Netflix and chill while going 500 miles an hour. It's fucking impressive. Not only are the pilots of the KC-135 skilled, they are the greatest trolls of all time. Once upon a time on November 2nd, 2022, multiple Twitter accounts that monitor Flight Radar 24, a website that monitors almost every aircraft's flight pattern on the planet, noticed that an American KC-135 was doing a penis-shaped flight pattern directly off the coast of Syria with the tip of the penis pointed directly at a Russian base. Gotta set a tone. This might actually be the most expensive go fuck yourself of all time. And the best part is this isn't even the first time it's happened. In 2017, naval pilots did this off the coast of Washington. I'm just gonna level with you, this is the use of my tax dollars that I approve of. In conclusion, universal healthcare would be pretty cool, but this universal unhealthcare stuff can be pretty fucking hilarious at times. Thanks for watching, best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang, out.